Here are the silver cord disc drives. It is a 3.5 inch form factor disc drive that fits in a standard disc bracket. This particular drive is not an ordinary drive. It is a drive with a controller built in it that makes it an intelligent drive. The controller enables us to run storage protocols such as iSCSI or object storage right out of the disk drive because of the intelligence built inside of it. It does not have SATA or SAS interfaces. It gets its power and data connectivity from the Ethernet port by plugging it into a standard PoE switch. Now let's get started by powering up the drive and connecting it to the network. What we have here is a Cisco PoE Smart Switch SG200. Now you can plug these two disk drives into the PoE switch. You'll notice an orange light comes up on the switch indicating the PoE standard has gone all the way through the classification phase and successfully powered up the device. Next, you'll notice a green light goes on the switch indicating the communication link is up. Now the disk drive is on the network. This is unique because for the first time you're able to power an intelligent disk drive with such low power. You can do this using PoE power form standard PoE switches available from various vendors. Now you put the disc back into the case. The case is a regular 19 inch 2U JBOD case that fits into a 19 inch rack. Now that the drives are on the network and running your particular storage protocol, it's time to connect to a server. These particular drives are running iSCSI. We have two of them in the case now, we'll connect them to a Windows machine using the iSCSI initiator. Using an iSCSI initiator, the drives are already added. You can see that they're added and connected, and when that happens, Windows automatically brings up the disks and shows them as volume. In this particular case, we aggregated those two drives into one big volume. 